Professor Lin, we move on to um, another hotspot in the Middle East, and that the occupied territories. Uh, uh, if the U.S. was really interested in uh, in uh, like uh, having democracy in anywhere in the world, um, the, the election Hamas elected government was pro has been uh, labeled the uh, has been called the the, the, the most democratically elected uh, Arab government uh, in, in the Arab history. So why actually uh, drive a wedge between the different factions? Why? cause them uh, to start an infighting, uh, something that uh, Mr. Jimmy Carter, former U.S. Um, uh, president, referred to on Tuesday. He said uh, he blasted the U.S. foreign policy uh, regarding Palestine, uh, quote, said it was criminal. And what he said, he said, American Israeli European consensus to reopen direct aid to the new governments uh, of uh, Abbas in the last few days, um, but to deny the same to Hamas-controlled Gaza represented an effort to divide Palestinians into two peoples. Uh, so if, uh, if on the one hand you're interested in democracy, why drive a wedge? Why try to uh, like, um, cause so much instability in Palestine? Well, right you are. It seems that uh, the interest in democracy is not that serious after all. And it is deplorable when we speak of America. Of course, I agree very much with the previous commentators about the very deplorable roles played by Israel and the United States in the Middle East uh, during the last centuries. But if we are truly interested in democracy, well, we have to go f rather far back in the uh, United States uh, history to the Founding Fathers. Had uh, Thomas Jefferson, one of my great heroes, I really recommend you reading him, re visiting his place, Monticello, and so on. That's when he speaks of democracy, democracy makes sense. One of his remarks that may unfortunately be pertinent in uh, this uh, connection is that he predicted that Thomas Jefferson, uh, that when power becomes concentrated in Washington, Washington, corruption will prevail. That is perhaps a quite an appropriate uh, statement to keep in mind when power becomes uh, concentrated in Washington, corruption will prevail. That seemed to be very foresighted. And what did Jefferson say more? He said that when such a corruption reigns in the office, in the highest office in the United States, it is time to oppose. Decent, honorable people have to oppose. So there is no doubt a very good democratic tradition in the United States. But uh, we have to go a couple of precedents back, I think, to f find something that is ideals that are still <laughs> very valid and admirable. So today it's a very deploring, a deplorable situation, I must say. Thank you. Uh, so first of uh, we have U.S.'s uh, baseless, unfounded allegations of uh, Iran interfering in Iraq, in, uh, in Gaza, in, in Palestinian affairs, in Lebanon, and the most recent being in Afghanistan. Where is it going to end? I think uh, this is, first of all, not true, and this is, the f this is following uh, the trend of anti-propaganda by the United States and by many other Western countries. Uh, the, the, the Iraqi government itself really rules this out. The Af Afghanistan government rules this out. The Americans are saying we are not having any proof which suggests that Iranians are interfering. But these are all some, so this is, it's very clear that the, these are all some conspiracies. When you look at the role of Iran in the Middle East, you will see that it has a direct access and also a great border with, with Hormuz Strait, from which some 60% of, more than 60% of oil of the world is produced and is transported. And this, there is not any special fluctuation or fluctuation or any special problem in this trend. And everything is cooled down there. When you look at the role of Iran, you can see after the revolution, for the first time again, the Iranian president has recently traveled to United Arab Emirates. It has traveled to Saudi Arabia. There have been great exchanges of high-ranking officials between Saudi Arabia and Iran, despite the very detrimental role which has been played by the United States in order to, in fact, create a separation between Iran and the regional uh, other countries. Iran, Qatar, when you look at that, you can see Iranian officials have been to Qatar. Qatar was one of the countries which gave a negative vote to one of the previous resolutions of the Security Council. And so 
Iran has a very good situation and relations with its neighbors. So, and at the same time, we can see they are, the Americans and even the countries themselves, like Afghanistan and Iraq, have not any proof for saying that Iran is interfering. The, what is going on in Iraq seems to be like a civil war between Sunnis and Shiites. Now, how, what is the source and the cause of this war between Sunnis and Shiites? You can definitely and easily see the role of the foreigners and the occupants in Iraq. Now, you know that Americans have decided to arm the Ba'ath regime, the former uh, remnants of Ba'ath regime, which, it, which as soon as they get armed, they, 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 the situation would get more and more aggravated. They are creating some special plots in order to rise the, uh, the Sunnis and the Shiites against each other. The recent attack to Samara and the devastation of the minarets, Holy between Shrine. minarets of Holy Shrine, and the same time in co co coincidence with Mr. Salman Rushdie, it co co very much coincided with that, very much shows the role of the uh, United Kingdom and the Americans in creation of such a war between Sunnis and Shiites and, pro and also the provoking anti the and provoking the Muslims, definitely, which would, in, which would in fact uh, attract the attention of Muslims towards such issues. At the same time, they are dealing with the ideas, the, the purposes, the objectives and the goals they have sought already for. And so I think these are all some anti-propaganda, they're baseless and they're absolutely not true when they're talking about the role of interfering role of Iran in Afghanistan and Iraq, which has never been proved up to now.